Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis are the first generation of royals to be affected by the 2013 Succession to the Crown Act, but the law may place them in an unfair position in later life. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William are now the proud parents of Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The 2013 Succession Act did away with male preference primogeniture, which means that Princess Charlotte is the first princess to come in front of her younger brother in the line of succession. It also means that the young Cambridge's royal generation is the first ever to be able to marry a Catholic and retain their succession rights. However, another change that was made by the Act may see George, Charlotte, and Louis put in an unfair position. One provision of the Act was that only heirs up to the sixth in line to the throne now have to ask the Queen's permission to marry. Before this, any heir in the line of succession had to ask Her Majesty for permission. The old rule would have seen latest royal bride to be Princess Beatrice having to ask her grandmother before becoming engaged, a step she did not have to take before saying yes to Eduardo Mapli Mazzi this week. However, the new rules mean that Kate and William's children could be in an unusual position where the siblings may all face different protocol requirements. During the committee stage when the 2013 Act was being debated, MP Christopher Pincher asked, where did the number 6 come from? Why not 3, 5, or 12? He then said, if we put in place a rule which says that the monarch can and must give consent to the marrying of the six persons nearest in line to the throne, imagine a scenario where a monarch has three children, who each have two or three children. The monarch will soon be in the invidious position where grandchild number four, who is fifth in line to the throne, must seek consent of the monarch to marry, but grandchild number six, who is seventh in line to the throne, need not seek that consent. That does not seem fair. In this example, William, as a monarch with three children, would face the unfair situation. He would potentially have to grant permission to some of Princess Charlotte's children or not others, for example. Or, he may have to grant permission to, for instance, Princess Charlotte to marry and not her brother Prince Louis. Currently Prince George is third in line to the throne behind his father, Princess Charlotte is fourth and Prince Louis comes in at number five. Prince Harry is currently sixth in line, but if the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge decide on any more children, as has been rumored they might, Harry's place would slip further down the line. As things stand, if Kate and William's children grow up to have children of their own, or indeed if Kate and William decide to have more than four children, the Cambridge family would fall either side of the number six requirement. The monarch's consent for marriages is particularly important because it ensures that any children issuing from that marriage may take their place in the line of succession. The number six eventually became law in the 2013 Act because in modern times, the throne has never passed to anyone who was more than six steps away from the throne in the line of succession. Queen Victoria was the most extreme example, as she was fifth in line to the throne at the time of her birth. There's no denying that being an older sibling can be tough at times. Older brothers and sisters are expected to be leaders for their younger siblings and keep them in line. And if we think that being an older sibling is hard on its own, being a royal older sibling is even harder. The oldest Cambridge kiddos, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, certainly have a big job ahead of them. They are the older royal siblings to little Prince Louis, and well, getting used to royal life is no easy feat. Young Louis has so much to learn in the first years of his life, but luckily for him, he has just about the best royal sibling duo to help him out along the way. Yes, Prince Louis is one lucky tot. Prince George and Princess Charlotte may both still be young, but boy, have they lived. They've attended more royal events than we could ever imagine. They are already completely in the spotlight, and they've already mastered royal fashion. So yeah, we'd say that young Louis is in good hands. Not only will George and Charlotte be able to teach Prince Louis all the ropes of royal life, but they will also just be two great pals for him. Making friends is probably pretty difficult with a royal title in front of their names, so George, Charlotte, and now Louis have to be their own best friends sometimes. But hey. That's what siblings are for, right? So, no matter what the situation is, George and Charlotte will always be there for their younger brother.
Here are all the ways that the oldest Cambridge kids already are wonderful big siblings.